Hi there ladies and gentlemen of YouTube. We're doing another feature video with the Technics SA350, the VLF Obsession edition of this SA350. You see the scope probe, it's connected to one of the tape output jacks, and we're going to do us about, oh, I don't know, maybe five to ten minutes of tweaks and spheres. So we'll go ahead and turn off the video light. We'll get right up here on the scope screen. These are clipped because they come after the clipping dials. I put a pair of clipping dials in there to protect the protect the uh, receivers amplifiers against high level VLF. But there it is. You get to see us some tweaks and spherics for a while. About three years ago when I first got the scope I was unable to to pick them up on the scope. I had quite a bit more hum so the scope couldn't couldn't trigger properly and also, but I wasn't using loop, loop loading three years ago, and I had a lot of high frequency interference, so it's real hard. In fact, it was impossible for the scope to trigger properly. But now with loop loading and, and less hum, we have real good, real good triggering action. So we'll sit back and enjoy them for a few minutes. Might as well zoom out and do a little look at the whole scope. It's a uh, GW Instech scope, Chinese made scope, call it Goodwill in Instech. And for $300 scope, it's actually pretty decent.
you know, this is the good part. I've been living in Tennessee. I brought the Visalis Thunderstorm portal up on the computer. I'm going to swing the camera around and take a look at the computer. It's looking like my nearest lightning is 500 miles away. So, there it is. We'll zoom in a little bit and get a little bit bigger of a picture. Yep. I don't think... Nope. Hey, there it is. Lightning's fairly decent. Not bad for summertime. Now we'll go back to the scope. Take the game down a little, get get us a little bit more out of clipping. You have louder ones, they will really hit it hard. Oh, we could run the game way up and demonstrate hard clipping on the spirits. You see, they're flat topping a lot more now. Likewise, the home level, the background home is going way up as well. That's a bad signal. Too much gain, too much clipping. During about the first two or three years that I was even in VLF, I succumbed to the temptation to run too much gain. It's counterproductive. But we're looking at 500 mile away lightning easily. Now if we run the scope without triggered sweep, just continuous. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube. Scoping out those spirits and tweaks. And that was something I really enjoyed being able to do with the scope and with the Technics SA350 receivers, be able to see the tweaks and spirits on the scope with it. And uh, as usual, thanks for watching, guys and gals. It's always fun to make the videos, and I'm going to be doing more. God bless y'all. Good night. Good day. Whatever time of day it is that you're watching. <laughs> And that's it. Bye.